Hey guys, Minecraft Dude here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Yog Box for Minecraft. Alright, to do this, you need a vanilla version of Minecraft, which means you have to start off with a brand new Minecraft. So, to do this, if you already have mods installed, for one, if you already have mods installed, you go down and percent app data percent dot Minecraft, then there will be a mod folder. But since mine is a vanilla version of Minecraft, and I backed up my mods and everything to here, well, it's a big file. Anyways, I backed it up there, so I can restore this after another video or something. That, um, <clears throat> yeah. So, to get yourself a vanilla version of Minecraft, you can either go into that percent app data percent, which I have a shortcut here and delete the whole Minecraft folder, but first I recommend backing it up using WinRAR or WinZip or something and getting one of these. So, that's what I did. I put it in a RAR file and did that. And then I deleted this Minecraft folder. I went hit delete and actually said yes, but I'm going to say no just for the sake of this video. Alright, and then after that, or if you don't even have mods installed, go into options before you log in hit force update and then hit done and then whenever you log in it will force update that means it'll download the minecraft jar and this other files that make minecraft able to run and this will do it completely like regular it, now you have 100 percent on my vanilla minecraft create a new world real quick world seed mine Random world. Actually, this would probably a good be a good tutorial map. It's pretty much flat. It's not bad. Might want to save this one. Anyways, <coughs> to install uh, Yog Box, you are going to need to I'm so upset, though. get the Yog Box. 1.7.3 version 1.1 off their website right now unless they've updated it, that's the current version I just downloaded a couple days ago then you will extract it to wherever and uh, we're going to double click on the yogboxinstaller.jar which is java archive and there we go now we're going to set target minecraft folder let's go ahead and click that uh, I'm gonna go to percent app data percent. Oops. Maybe I have to do it some other way. Hmm. Anyways, I just make a um shortcut on your desktop for it. I just did that, and then you just select Minecraft. This is what your should be. C users. I'm Brandon, so Brandon App Data Roaming dot Minecraft, and that should be the folder you click. You hit open, then you hit next. Now you can do minimum, full, custom installs, or Peaceful Farmers Paradise, which I have no idea what that is. Uh, RPG Adventure High and Low Performance. Let's see, what this is Seasons. I don't recommend Seasons because it gets really um, laggy. Okay, this is pretty cool. Alright, custom. I'm gonna do custom because this is what I did on my other one. Tree capacitor does not work with um Millionaire, which I am installing. So Millionaire. I'm gonna do single player RPG mod. Um Elemental Creepers. Um I'll put Israfel in here just because I can. Um I did these uh, peaceful pack, so if you're on peaceful you can get gunpowder and stuff like that. Randomite ore is really cool. It looks like this up here. And it'll either give you diamonds, gold, clay, um, redstone, um, copper. Why do they say clay? It doesn't give you clay. But um, an egg. Use all this stuff right here. I've only gotten three diamonds. It's really rare to get diamond. But it's really cool because it it takes pretty much a wooden pickaxe to mine and you can get um, diamonds and stuff out of it, it's really cool convenient inventory, I click that enable more health, this gives you 20 hearts of health 
So, and then, like, whenever you hit by a mod, if you don't have any food, you can go into more options, or mod options, or something like that, and just slide the little slide bar, and, um, give yourself full health. It's pretty cool. That's what I use, just to, like, cheat the system. Inventory tweaks, I did that. Rees, raise, minimap, do that. Somnia, do not do that. It make it takes, uh, bleh. whenever you sleep, it's, um, you can sleep any time of the day, and, um, It'll, hmm, it just takes a lot longer to, um, sleep instead of, like, the normal, like, five seconds. It'll take about a minute and a half, two minutes to sleep. And, um, that's why I don't really like it. Um, I did stackable food is, um, edible. And tree capacitor, I want it to work. I really do, but it won't work. So... I'll go ahead and check it, but it won't work. I know that. And then I'll do core mods and credits because you kind of need this. This will install the um, Yog Box texture pack and um, stuff like that. And after you select these, you can hit next. And it will give you this window right here. Unpacking Minecraft Jar, um, installing core mods, and then I'll installing APIs, which is the, what I said at the top, core. That's the custom APIs. So this may take a little bit depending on what install you did, but if you did the install I just exactly what I put down, it'll take about 30 to 45 seconds, and um, it makes your Minecraft awesome. I'm just gonna say that it makes it awesome. So right now it just it's installing Millionaire and the single player mod. There it goes. It's gonna keep going. Out of all the tweaks and stuff, it repacks your jar file. And then it deletes the temporary file so there's no extra things lagging you down or anything. Once it says finish, you just hit done. And close out of the Yog box folder. And um, where do you go down here to Minecraft? All okay. good. And you can tell that the Yog box is installed. By right here it says Yog box. And this is random stuff that it says. I really like the the background right here, the logo, looks really cool. So I'm going to go into single player. I'm not sure if any of these work on multiplayer or SMP. But um, now that we're loaded, I'm just going to let the chunks generate and everything because the floating ruins and stuff like that will generate on ungenerated chunks. So the chunks have to be not generated. So. You can see down at the bottom, I have five hearts of health. Um, that's one of the mods. There we go. There's a village 61 meters to the northeast, another village 121 meters to the east, and another one 72 meters to the west. So there's a lot of villages on this map. That means it's going to be really laggy. And there's one right there. Can't really see that far. I'm going to change my fog distance to... I don't want to say far because I want it to be pretty close so I don't lag that much. But, um, wow, there's, this is new. I haven't seen a one out in the desert yet. One of my other map is fairly small. Looks like a chest right there. Yes, there is. This is a brick kiln, that's pretty cool. So I'll walk around over here. I see floating NPCs. So, walk across the water. Sorry for the lag. Um, okay, see these little guards over here with the swords? They, I'm pretty sure they will attack you. So, um, let's go like this. Hit mod world options. More health. And this is how you do your health. Max health, I say set to 20. And then I just set this one all the way up to 20. See my hearts down here go all the way up. They change depending on what you have them on. I like doing it at 20. I'll just back into the game. Um, we have some pork chops. Since I went and killed a pig. Also, there's a score function up in the top. Oh, this is the Indian village. Like, um... Like, people from India. Not as in, like, Native American Indians. Alright, this is, I think this, this is the town hall. 
so you can open up a side and talk to the people in charge. They need three wood for planks, 36 cobblestones, and 380 mud bricks. And you should start off in your inventory. Well, you should start off in your inventory with a recipe book if you install the core options. And, um, you get, if you don't have one, you take a blank book and you combine it with an ink sack, which is right next to you, like next to it in the inventory. So you go book here and ink sack here, and it will create a recipe book. And that has all the recipes for the Yog Box installed on it. So um, the mini map is up there in the top corner. If you press V, it'll V. It'll show you the villages down here. Oops, can't really show you, but down in the bottom corner, it tells you exactly where the villages are, and it tells you if they're active, if they're deserted, and stuff like that. Um, the mini maps up in the top corner. If you press M, it brings up the mini map. Second M brings up the mini map. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, mini map menu, and you can do surface or caves. You can look for caves. Um, death point. It'll show you where you died at. Um, it also has different stuff like um, entity radar. I like having this on because it shows um, evil mobs, like monsters and stuff, and, or mobs that'll attack you. And I, I select show direction, so it shows what direction they're facing, so you can maybe sneak past them. Um, so it's saying that this guard right here is a an unfriendly mob. Which I know is true because it, they will attack you. You know, punch them and just let them kill me. Alright, so I died. And I'll respawn pretty much where I was. Oh, look, that, that's really lucky. I just found some armor, a bucket. Wow. Wow. That's pretty cool. That was probably from one of those guards. Oh, look, here's another. I bet you these two villages are always fighting. But, um, this is how to install Yog Box and all the extra features it has. Uh, it has elemental creepers. It also has a baby animals function, which makes some cute little animals of, um, the ant, like, regular animals. <coughs> There's some more buildings and stuff. Um,. But yeah, that's pretty much how you install Yog Box. Pick up the sapling. Inventory tweaks. You need. Well, I don't know if you need to get hit C, and it'll bring up your stats. So my athletics is one, my defense is three, my melee is one. Even though I didn't, oh, I punched the guy once. And they'll give you perks like um, mining. It'll give you. Um, I think once you hit 25, it'll give you a chance to get an extra ore. Oh. Um, Chopping wood, it'll. I think it gives you a per, uh, two percent chance of um, getting a, a mushroom from your wood and stuff like that. So um, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna. There's my death point up here. See the little X on the mini map. Um, just gonna see what this is. This looks like a. Uh, an import station, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's anybody inside. No, there's nobody inside. Anyways, this is uh, Minecraft Dude. And um, I was showing you how to install Modbox today. And um, thanks for watching my video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, like it. Um, and when you like it, it has a share function. You can share that on your Facebook or send an email to your friends. Please do that. I, I really appreciate it every little bit counts so um check out my uh, mod review of millionaire and that is gonna be up on youtube soon if not before this so um thank you guys very much for watching um see you next time bye